Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors? This is Starship 1988, and today I bring you another review on Mattel's DC Comics Multiverse. And this is actually a continuation from the first two reviews that I did. Um, and what I mean by that is this is actually, um, in the case, this is a sorted number number 29, and this is number 30. So it is a continuation. I thought <clears throat> when I first reviewed those guys, I thought that... Um, I was missing these guys. I thought these were the first ones uh, to be done, but unfortunately, but not unfortunately, but fortunately, I should say, it's the next in the line. Um, I actually picked these up at Toys R Us. They were ten times cheaper. No, not really. <laughs> they were somewhat cheaper than the actual Toys R Us store or even Target. I paid for these seven ninety nine. Um, it almost makes me want to just always order online. It seems to always be a lot cheaper than going to the store and finding it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. Um, so again, to the left you got Deadshot, and to the uh, right you have the Bat, the Battle. Um, oh, I forgot what it stands for. Um, armored Bat suit, and that's obviously Batman. Um, he looks a lot nicer than the regular release Batman, uh, but you can decide if we, you know which one you think it's nicer. Let's look at the back of the package here. <clears throat> Same exact pictures of both of. Uh, the, the hero and the villain and um, just kind of to show you here that's his name there his little buy if you want to check that out and then obviously Batman is right there all right so yeah so uh, that's pretty much it let's crack these open I'm not gonna fade to black or anything like that so we'll just do them right here I kind of got them ready hopefully I'll be able to peel it and it won't be an issue go that was very easy that's the way I should have done it the first time so that's one guy and then number two and Batman here does come with some electricity lightning whatever you want to call it not lightning, obviously lightning comes from clouds, I know that, but it's electricity. <laughs> we'll keep it electricity. <laughs> and there he is. Let's change the camera here a little bit, just bring it forward. Push in so you can kind of see him a lot clearer. That looks pretty decent, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there they are. Um, again, I'm digging this Batman a whole lot more than the first release. I really honestly don't like that first one. And you know what? It's funny because it's the same mold. Same exact mold, except it does have a different head. This head just seems a lot nicer. Um, but color can come a long way. Can go a good way. And um, just, you know, the, the fact that, I don't know. You'll see when I show you. Um, yeah, this is just a lot cooler. Him I'm liking a lot. So, in terms of articulations with this Batman, same as the first one, you got in and out on the legs there. Let me get this eye out of focus here. You have in and out. You have thigh movement there, as you can see. Knee. There's no feet, no pivot, no nothing, no pointing. Um, waist articulation it does have 360 there, as you can see. His arms can go all the way around in and out single elbow um, and then his little his wrist turns 360 as you can see there hopefully with my big digits <clears throat> so that's pretty cool um, this kind of gets in the way a little bit so I'm finding that kind of weird but whatever and his head obviously does 360 no up and down very straightforward and then his cape is, it's hard plastic, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. So I know some people like cloth more. I'm indifferent. I have my, um, sometimes I, I like it, sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Mr. Deadshot here, he looks kind of fat. <laughs> it almost reminds me of one of those um, DC Infinite figures that came with, um, with Commissioner Gordon. Like one of the guards. Maybe it is, I have no idea. Um, it almost feels like a very recycled line, but who knows? I, I could be right, could be wrong. Um, he has his patent 
guns right there in his wrist. He has some bullets right there. I'm sure the armor piercing something. Um, he doesn't look too, too bad. There he is. This head doesn't turn all the way around because of his jacket being in the way, the collar. But 360, in and out. His wrist, same on that side. His waist, as you can see, he has a pretty nice pouch there. This one doesn't go all the way out because of that pouch. This one does, though, right there. So it's a pretty good split. <clears throat> 360 there, and the knee, obviously. So yeah, these ain't too, too bad. Um, the first ones I got for, I think it was, it was either nine or $10 most each. And then the second line, these right here, I actually just picked these up for $7.99, so I was pretty stoked about that. Pretty happy about that. Then obviously, um, you can put the lightnings here on Batman, going back to Batman. And see if I can, put, yeah, there it is, uh, the other way. So, and I, I, you know, obviously it would be pointing back because he's about to punch you, so the lightning's moving, I guess. I don't know, makes no sense, who knows. <laughs> so that's that. So at least he came with something, unlike the first release, came with nothing. Which makes it very, very boring. Speaking of boring, we bring him out. <clears throat> of course, he's traditional in terms of the Dark Knight look. So, there he is. So, it's exact, exact, exact same toy. The only difference I can say is, though, the fact that um, they made it look like this is armor. So, that's a big change. Look at the knees alone. The shins. They look like shin guards. Because they're painted. When you look at this guy here. They just don't anymore. Plus, they're all black, so it just looks like it's part of the boot. Um, and then the the face is the other thing here. Let's see if I can do that again one more time. If it's the same face, the one to the right looks like he's fat or fatter. So it's kind of weird. I just don't like it. Um, I think this one looks better, a whole lot better. So yeah, there you go. There's your DC multiverse line again. I uh, one of the um, one of the comments, one of the gentlemen on the comments section, let me know that the second wave will actually be the Michael Keaton um, line. Um, these are all Batman Arkham City, except for him. He's part of the Origins line, so he's the only Origins. Um, we got Solomon Grundy back here. Let's see if he'll hold, just so you can kind of see them all together. Um, then you got Azrael right there. And then last but not least, still my favorite of this whole line has been Mr. Freeze. And I love, um, I like Bane. I think he's cool. But um, I think Mr. Freeze looks awesome. I wish they'd made a Solomon Grundy. That would be awesome because I love Solomon Grundy. So that would be cool. But yeah, there you go, guys. There's the, the lineup so far of the first wave of the Batman Arkham Origins slash Arkham City uh, Batman figures from DC Multiverse. Um, all in all, you're looking at approximately $60 in retail. Is it worth it? I guess if you're a huge Batman fan. Um, I'm not really, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, I, I like them enough where I still will, you know, pick up um, figures here and there. So, again, guys, thanks as always for watching. You guys take care. Peace. I will see you guys later.